Damn. That means the side thing in forever. Yeah, you can also close out the game. <laughs> Cause you can't broadcast something that's not there. Oh yeah, it's Fishhole's birthday. Or it was. Anything. Why would anyone want... Oh, forget it. It's not my... Boring!
useless. <laughs> so far. Children, come, come. Yes, <gasps> what is oh, no. no. In fact, my old... A gift for Paimon? <laughs> oh, child. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That simply won't do. Especially since I imagine you still... Fortunately... I have... Oh! I will not go. The teapot that you entered previously... Yeah, it so means you have to get a bunch of in, wood. Uh, but that's enough... That's right! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need... What's more? I... Well, for starters, I require some shimmer sort. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since... Deep. Even more difficult to find is Smaragdus jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or so it used to be. In any case, Smaragdus jadeite is an adept eye treasure. Ah, <sighs> goodness knows if that child was... You're an adeptus, Granny. The person you asked for... Hmm. Yes. She counts? How... Oh, maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. I but Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written. You became one of Liyue's most wanted before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the a shame that we didn't meet s if we had. Well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yen Fei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? Oh, yes. Here's my business card. You'll find it has my con- If you have an urgent issue, just- All right, Yenfei, all right. You'll have to excuse Yenfei. She's always- I'm always gonna ask this- An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time. And then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving- Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis, and that he was fine with- Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. Nah, about so, right. Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smarag- Is that so? Hmm. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the cast. Hmm. Oh, whoa. That's a really thick. Commercial consultancy. Or. Or. Snezhnaya. Ah, Krussel! A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With, and, oh, you want to join me? Wow. And, uh, best we be a little more... Talking. Okay. <laughs>
I wonder, can I do that? Make sure I see wait.
Way behind schedule. Useless. Don't get frostbite. Dodge this. I'm going in. Evil conquering. Worthless. Here. Get out of my way. Zao got smacked though. in time. Kinda. Huh? 
I'll protect us. Oh. That was dumb. Yeah, good job. Charge right off the map. Yup. Up the new spiral, this sucks. <laughs> Rain Never outlines your fate. Uh, uh, cry. <laughs> Evil conquering. <laughs> 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 Swirl, Mark. Have a little taste. Let me leave you a verse. Is this right now? This is twenty forty. That'd be sixty. No, my sword. Witness the power of Kuba. Absorption test. Animal hypos. Lament. Jeez. Easy. Yeah, I got another pull on. That's good. Uh, electro damage. Just to heal me.
Evil Conqueror! Worthless! Because I already have the
Oh, it's that. Hi. The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Sauce. Apple sauce.
Denied.
boring. If it's useful, I'll take it. Yeah, CC just woke up recently. Yeah, she'll come in and tell you good morning, but if she sees my stream, she won't come in and tell me hi. <laughs> Wait, did he hit twice with this first one? Oh, I guess he does. Yeah. I've been up since nine. I already got dishes done, trash out, and everything done. It's sitting like, just tell me good morning. <laughs> like we usually do. But if you see my stream, they didn't say hi or anything. You have one commission too, by the way. It's in the freaking dragon spine, and I don't want to go there. I hate dragon spine. Don't sigh, me. 
I'm just teasing. I was. Uh. Oh yeah, why is your cat the way she is? Why? I had a tuna sandwich for breakfast. Huh. I went, to, I went to bed like 10. Like huh. 10 ish. Did he even, did he even freaking like listen to freaking CC's goodnight thing at all? I just passed out. I didn't listen to it until I woke up this morning. stream on this one until whenever she wants to get on so I can get all that stuff Yeah, I wonder how tall. Like, like, is I think isn't like Sino shorter than Zhao, but like, an, like a few like inches. Or like a centimeter. Oh, 
guess I would do this. Oh, and it's even up the mountain where I haven't been yet. This dude that I want to pick him up and just punt him down the mountain. It's like, do your own commission. Once the snow is thick enough, we can eat it. Oh, yeah, did you know about <coughs> this? On the side of these, these buttons, now they get to unlock. left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. Useful, I'll take it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Follow your own silly. I'm sick of Tommy though, I wanna put him down the mountain. That's why I don't do my commissions and watch that anymore. unlocked. This is this. Oh. all she gets for breakfast like, almost every day. Huh. I should go, I should go and tell her. Would anyone want? Oh, forget it. It's not my concern. There's a chest down there. I figured it out. I read the freaking uh, tutorial thing. <laughs> it's a miracle! 
That's what I said every freaking day. I need to not be here anymore because I'm about to freeze to death and I ain't trying to do that. But I still think it's funny, she comes in and tells you hi and doesn't say hi to me. <laughs> Weather is not bad today. Oh crud, I jinxed it. Now it's bound to nope, rain. she just eats cookies, that's it. Only cookies. See, me on the other hand, I ate a tuna sandwich. With some cheese. And water because I'm healthy I so I eat Cheerios sometimes too with nothing in them yeah you did say good morning to me but you didn't say it in my chat <laughs> I'm just giving you crap especially because I would, I'd come in and be like, hey, good morning, hon. Or, hi. Or, hello, sweetheart. Add Astra Abbott. Especially if you've been up hours longer than I have. <laughs> oh, it'd be funny if I still had that one bot active. Like, it's still active, but that one thing on the bot active, you would've got timed out. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, why you gotta yell at me, by the way? CC, are you gonna to stream today? Or no. Oh, it's down over here. Wait, isn't this where if you can No it's not. There's that one area, yeah, okay. That's where that area is. Yeah, I ain't trying to do that. Because I would die. She does, and then she complains she's tired. She has a head, and like, or like, and then she like sits weird, and like, oh, my back hurts. They don't sit weird.
giving it to my younger brother, giving her a cry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm kidding. Cause like, yeah, cause like the only thing is though, like when she's older and she tries to do that, she's gonna get a bunch of weight. I need to do that too. Hey CC, later on, if you want, will you help me fight this thingy? <laughs> that was weird. I wonder why that happened. But yeah, I need this. I need juvenile jade. I can do other stuff on myself, but that's the only thing I need help with. Yeah, I've done that before. I've went like two days, two almost three days without eating. And like back when I was younger, I almost went a month without eating. Which is kind of dumb now looking back at it, but... Uh, I don't know. But I was super depressed. And I was like... I think I was like... Yeah, I was like 12. Or something like that. Yeah, she's super picky. I need to do that one quest. Shouldn't be picky, cause there's actually good food. Don't you like? Don't like? Don't like pork except for bacon, which makes no sense, cause most pork's really good. Like, there's some like really good sausage, and she won't eat it. And then like, yeah. The only thing she's probably never had like ramen, which can be good. And if like, if like let's say, if the pizza, ch pizza's cheese, if the pizza's yeah. cheese is like brown and bubbly, she says it don't taste good. Huh. They're not here. Hmm. Let's keep looking. I need chains, which is available today. If you, okay, if you try something you don't like it, I'll freaking eat it. I don't care. <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, 
We're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. Yeah, it's like she's How are we ever going to repay to those like... gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. And I, I bet you, your if you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Especially considering uh, how thick you Come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't. No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, oh, oh, shiny, yeah shiny, I saw shiny, you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then Shinyu at kiosk, then Wanmin restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your no. way again. Not, How could you um, afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? Very, very We're just busy. selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's... Oh, you again. The Millilith? What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? Silence! How dare you threaten... <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. When the hooligans... <laughs> <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. And this is Paimon's travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect... <gasps> you, you can't do that. That's way That's too way violent. <laughs> Laws. No. Really? So <sighs> that would be my stomach growling. She's so. Wait, that's right. They said you went up. Then of course you're still. Hmm. Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. Hmm. Kind of hard to explain. Hmm. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's. After all, you. Violet Grass. <laughs> You think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't. She's not. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you. Chingsen, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. Thank you. She. <sighs> My hunger has now abated. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, the Jade Chamber. Hmm. Rather awful. The re the remodel. <laughs> Though they were not completely devoid of After sweet she, fragrance. She After consuming a large quantity of them. So, how come you chow down on bees and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest re- Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only p sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains. Th mm, enough about me. Oh, right. Paimon almost forgot. And and now we're broke. Hmm. I see. Hmm, I <laughs> yep. You get to ask Ningguo. Were you interested in the contest? Hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would- Wow! You really don't have to! 
But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Then let's not delay. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesome... Mm. I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Mito! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, Dispose we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? <sighs> Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Course, and a... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. Spy you? What are you... Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. Huh? How can a lady... Ni I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe... F oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very... Sh no, no! We've got other stuff to do. Ah, the variety of Plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very... As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. Okay, then. Let's go out. Thanks, Spike. You're quite welcome. Good luck. Can you take it away? <laughs> I wonder if we can do this now. Uh... Hi. Yeah, I'm not gonna stream though. Like, I'm only streaming on this account until Minus CC's anniversary because it's like the big 200 ep the 200th episode or stream or whatever. So I'm just chilling on here because like I'm only gonna talk on here until CC wants to talk and I'm gonna pull the plug on my headset <laughs> which will probably be like around almost one because it's 1202 right now There's actually mushrooms down there though.
fares to me. Secret of whatever. <laughs> but I need to turn my commissions up first. Let's do it over here. Wait, I'll bear it back. Reduced to just standing around. How absurd. Have you heard? The right of parting. The right of parting? Reduced to just standing around. How absurd. How absurd. Shut up, Zell. Don't be asked. I'm kidding. <laughs> Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Thank you for completing. Because I need primos.
you're dead. is weird Stole chips. I don't know whose chips they are, but they're wavy ones and they're lays that are good. Stop eating them. Master Sincho, thank good- Oh? Why do I detect- The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I ha- I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. Oh, how wonderful. Hey, Sincho! Glad you're here. Yeah, we we need, want to we ask need you stuff. for some information. Give us. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Sinchio. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Sinchio, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction, and a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. 500 million?! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and it's just not worth it. But... without any Sunset Vermilionite... 
Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Seagazer? Who? Hmm. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of Drifting Clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilionite. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is situated in the Leisha area. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an Adeptus? <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, be very careful. Okay, we will be. Worthless. Let's see. Shinjo said it should be around here, but Paimon doesn't see anything. Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new Sealy over there? Let's investigate this further.
waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset for Millionite we're looking for should... Really? Let Paimon see! Look, it's gone and sn- And now that Paimon takes a closer look... These are not real clouds. They are the pro If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that it- All right, then what? I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I- This ancient power. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? The mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. My ordinance 
Active on. Obey. Why did I try to hit this freaking... It looks like we need yeah. to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Moments of birth! Burst forth! Access denied! Blaze over! I got dropped a freaking ship in my shoe somehow. I don't know. I did. Somehow, I don't understand how I did it, but I did it. That takes true skill. Crap. We're gonna fall! This time, we're really gonna fall! <laughs> so hot! <sighs> Luckily, there was a pool of water at the bottom. Otherwise, that could have ended very differently. <laughs> uh, hey! That series on the move again! Let's catch up with it! I need food. Now 
on now. Ancient power. Come into being. Born of ice and frost. Let's light it up. Burst forth. Manifest. Unleash. Over with, yeah, especially if it doesn't say thousand right now. <sighs> I got food though, it's fine. Yeah, 
it though. That's a big tree. <laughs> Prostrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shadow. Wow, Shenha. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story yeah, after like story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. Activate it here. There's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? But if we don't activate it, how? Don't worry. I can handle. Are you sure? Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. My safety. That's right. I'm unsure you can handle it and everything. But if something, you gotta be extra hmm. It all go on ahead with the plostrite. How is Shenhua able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Adept at super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. Oh yeah, CC. When are you getting on Genshin? Now are you gonna stream? I never did this thing either. I don't think so, anyway. Want a taste of my hammer? Adventure! Let's light it up! Coming to be! anyone want? Oh, forget it. It's not my concern.
Hey, there's that one place. It becomes the shrine. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing, so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful sap. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the sunset through- My name isn't important. I'm not- I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! What line are you talking about? Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plastrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one what point. What line are you talking it's about? It's not helper. <laughs> okay then! Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. It's so As a green. side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to... Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still... Shenhe! Shenhe! Just now on the way over... Oh. Re what kind of reaction yeah, is that? only the line you're talking so about. So strange. I was happy Aren't you happy attention. about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but... Hook I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus. Treat me with great deference and respect. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are- But, uh, I am not... Uh... Shanna? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set- Um... Well, Byron said that there- <sighs> No need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate- You can't do that! When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice cup. Okay. Great! Now we're talking! Hi there! Ch Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream, so business is booming for me today. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess... Here are your keys? Shenha, you should go get some... Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good to... Let's buy one for Shenha, too! She can have it as a midnight... <sighs> All right. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. Mm-hmm.
One trusts you have met Shen He. So. So far, so good. Yeah. So you know Shen He too, Clark? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liu. Cool. So calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also. Her adeptus name. Why pray? Uh, don't all. On this latter point, you are. Cr oh, oh, right. <laughs> What? You knew already? Do you mean to say that she presents... Well... To start with... Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, one first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the... Inside was Shanha. Then aged around six years old. In her hand... That sounds so... When one arrived... She had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong will. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had... In other words, if you had impact... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. That's still so dangerous, though! Why was it- Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constitution. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with a- Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, the red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her... It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's... Paimon gets it. Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. Ning Guang like once Howdy made Tanner. a bold assertion a that this is awesome. to be the era of the contract between Liu Wei and the human. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has yeah, occupied enough so of your again. time. A night Why? is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Can you not hear me? So, Shen He isn't an Adeptus after all. She just grew up around the Adepti. Oh, no wonder she doesn't like being treated as an Adeptus. Having everyone falling over themselves to show their respect all the time must be kind of hard oh, to deal to with. These things over here. Then. Do you not have the freaking sound on? Yeah, it's always like this. It's always quiet on the PlayStation for some reason like this. It's because on this one, I haven't set it to... I haven't fixed it. Hold on. Is that better now? I 
I turned it up because my other account I turned it up. Not this one. <laughs> uh, it's already gotten those. Because there's like, I think there's a Lux chest and like a Precious chest. I got this one too. No one asked. Shut up, I'm kidding. Boring. Uh, hey, so Shinra. Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Oh? How did you know? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep. I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I went out on top of this. You have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. Okay. After all, ma <laughs> It's okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience... Still, <laughs> though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. I was joking. For this... I am very grateful indeed. To be fair, anyway, now it's got a joke. it. All the great. Well, but before we do, after all, <laughs> see, but why the he why did they got him go and make her and so thick thing. though? We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try what the it. what? They're so good. I concur. It has a rich flavor, far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Yeah, yeah, freaking, yeah, say that to Cece though, because me and her pretty much have the same sense of humor. Super hard headed. Ah, crap, I fell off. No. Ah. Look, look, the J Chamber is floating into the sky. Yeah, I, I told. She sees something but it funny seems to be tied time, down by something. That's because it's not Let's finished. Let's find it. Because I thought of it randomly. And hey! Um, people Paimon doesn't know? 
<laughs> it's like your Given whole existence the is a hate crime chamber, from God. We split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains mm. balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the jade chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed jade chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the jade chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ningguang is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you... Wait, I know you. You're the one who fought against the Fatuian Osile, right? Pleased to meet you. I'm Beidou. Captain of the Crow. Beto? Beto? Are you here to join the Jade Chamber? <laughs> sure am. I happen to get my hands on a chunk. Huh. So even though it's... Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler. I'm sure you've heard of them before. And this is... Uh, sorry. I'm not sure we've met. Shenhe. I am there. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came to- It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only- To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connection- Wow! So- Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe. No. I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help her win. In that case, Lady Ning Wong said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure. Sounds great, but. <laughs> I think the plastrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of them... How'd I do? Is that Precisely. Huh. Okay, then. All right. I'll go first. I have some lead. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Iron Monk. Wonderful. We'll split... I'm gonna take off. See you later. I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our- Ooh, what's the opera called? The opera is a labor of love. It's called The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Well, it's so far. The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Master John. Of course I have. My name is Yunjin. Yunjin? Stage use. Oh, so <clears throat> sorry. My brain's finally So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, the types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. Yeah, I know. He already has. I tried to do it with freaking Sino <laughs> sure. the other day. Well, you'll need two kinds. <sighs> Star Splinter Iron and Sabrosium. If I remember correctly, 
Lady Ningguang sourced her star splinter iron from the Mount Tianhe. It could take some work, but if you stick with it... Uh... I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I... Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for star splinter iron around Mount Tianhung. And if you run into... Mount Tianhung. Interestingly enough, the story of the divine... I hear the view there is quite spectacular. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Yes, where Xinha almost died, kinda, technically. Like, yeah, cause isn't her like dad and all them actually like dead now though? Oh yeah, I need to give me. Add Astra. I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at no wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devastation is said to have taken place here. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? What's the story about? It's. The story of a girl. Cool! A hero st The legend first arose in this area. It in that village, there was a loving couple who were comp the wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it the vile and vicious monster told the villagers, if you want What a nasty piece of work! But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were t just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster. No! Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her sto- And so, destined to grace the mortal realm for- I really like this story, but I personally think that perhaps the little girl was not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Hmm, I've never con- Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to- When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention- Hmm, I think- Well, it sure inspired Paimon! Let's go get ourselves some- Agenda? 
Many mortals fear lightning. Worthless! Burst forth! Feel this ancient power! Born of ice and frost! We're way behind schedule! village on our way here. Master Zhang said we should oh, ask the locals back. Why don't we try there? I'm hey! Sure, like, there really is someone here! Or whatever. Yunjin, looks like you were right! Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? <gasps> huh. He did Hello, sir. We were just passing by. <gasps> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Shenhua, Yunjin. Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's... Shenhua. Shenhua. I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Subrosium. This place is deserted now. Huh? You know this... Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go. Don't worry. Mingjin has no ill intention towards mission. Okay. Then let's see what. <laughs> Why would anyone want. Ugh, forget it. It's not my. Huh. What's this? Probably not. <laughs> Ow. I don't know. Think about it. She does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is. So that's why I've been, according to this text, and she didn't 100. volunteer. She was. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Lamentable. <laughs> now, oh, <laughs> it looks like my father <laughs> may need to make a few revisions. Like lament. Is it? So it seems that Shen He's father thought he was summoning a benevolent deity using a magic Damn. incantation. But in fact, he summoned an evil god's remains, which took the form of a monster. His obsessive yearning That's for so his deceased dark. wife led to a terrible tragedy. Damn. The villagers the moved away in fear without ever village. learning the truth. Two weeks, the mother died and of now, disease. This place the young is deserted. daughter went missing, which is Still, 
Somehow. I do wonder what the connection is between Shenhe and Ninja. Shortly after, his father hanged himself on a tree in the yard of his own house. Dude. We looked everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. So dark. Oh, lament. Lament, mint. Somebody needs a lament. This is it. Lament. So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some sabrosium. Let's go back and tell Shenhe the news. Lamented. Lamentable. Lament. Disappear. Lamented. One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chance. I bring flowers back here every year. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, there is nothing he wouldn't have done for his troop. Do you still... I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father... It must have been so tough. Shenha, we're back! It is. It's really sad. Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha, I'll tell you more about the old... Thanks, mister. We found some info in like, the end. The crappy thing is, though, like, it's like, like if me and Cece were in that situation Shenha, and she was dying... Look. This and we had a kid together. To There's no way I'd sacrifice All her kid. All we gotta kid. do is no, go to the middle of that lake. Cause it's still a part of her. Hmm. Let's go then. <sighs> it's so sad. Miss Shenha, there's something I'd like to talk. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. But now it's okay. But, uh, my master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part oh, yeah, of human this society. Is when, like, when, like, so skin, I hope that one day like, I might be brave like, enough oh, to I'm stand up and protect and others, just, gets just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will. Don't worry. I, b in fact, I think maybe you've already started. Shinra, Yinjin, cut the. We can't let someone else beat it. And that's when they all turn around and just punt Paimon. All my freaking legs just fell asleep. <laughs> do that There's my twin. Ah. 
What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? Ningguang, something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. But these things can be unpredictable. Only a single mountain, if things get out of control. Limit. That's everything we need! Let's head back and report in! Simon's curious if Beto's made guarding. any progress. He's lamenting. Lament. Yes. Lament. For it! <laughs> He's lamenting. I think after I finish this part though, I'm gonna end stream so I can go eat and then get on my other account. Cause I want a tuna sandwich. I'm hungry. The chips have filled me up. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta, I gotta figure out. So. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not gonna stream on my other account until I until oh, it's mine and CC's goodness. anniversary. Because so it's gonna be the 200th okay? episode. This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Guess now it's my time to. Hey everyone, how's the A team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a wonder course. Leave the wonder course to me. I'll wor Don't worry. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti- I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, you- Yes. I have been tra- When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In I fact, I came specifically to yet. deliver Adepti sigils. Master I heard had, that Ming Wang was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent hungry. me to deliver some Adeptai sigils to her. Master I've also said she all, hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. That little tiny bag but of now that I'm here, really do I wonder if I've been rem Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. Without knowing the ins and outs of your... But now that our paths have crossed... Thank you. I don't know if CC's going to stream me so, either. Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti oh. arts work. Maybe I'll learn well, something. I didn't freaking know. Yeah, you're never freaking hungry until a letter and you're like, oh, I'm starving. <sighs> the sigils are ready. If you had a good breakfast, Though they are you in wouldn't some be hungry respects inferior to my masters. I can assure you there will be no Especially quality since. issues. Well, are you? Because I think all you I've probably did this morning the besides you get ready is to. your cats. I Great. bet you. Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us. <laughs> Doggos. See, in because in this relationship, I'm the responsible one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Boring. <laughs> I know it's either she wants to play all DC, either wants to play all the time, or she wants to go outside and murder stuff. Ningguang's little secretary. Oh, already? <laughs> I wonder how many people All secretly went to plant Paimon. Like, okay, I see. The wonder cores and Adepti sigils look good. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are... 
the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beidou. Yeah, but did they, did they collect it? It it's was mostly already? just like us. I haven't even found the plus strike yet. What are you doing? I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang... Huh? Where's Beidou? Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. She will join later. Please come... All right, then. Guess we'll head on. This has been a long... I don't want to do this yet. Yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that yet. I'll stay right here. I'm not getting any closer. Those memories, are so dark. So I'll just do this tomorrow. Cause I was waiting for I was waiting for CC to respond to what I said, but just because I start asking her if she's gonna stream better. Just I want to go eat and I want to get on my other account. I have no idea. I'm just, I'm waiting for a response. She's busy, probably too busy playing with her cat or something. The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. I need to heal Zhao. Dang. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh crap. Oopsies. <laughs> I'll get back up there. <laughs> oh. Uh yeah, how am I supposed to get back up there? Oopsies, wait, is there like an elevator up there? <laughs> wait, or can I teleport up there? Oh, there isn't. Oh. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I gotta figure out how to get up here now. <laughs> yeah, there should be a way back up there, though. Because otherwise, that'd be like my luck. Uh, get right there, land. Wait for stamina. I gotta get back up here first. <laughs> Somehow. Because the rain luck struck again. <laughs> Okay, see, there is a way back up. Okay, what are you gonna eat for supper today, though? Chicken. It's either gonna be chicken, fish, or like <laughs> corn, mashed potatoes, or something. Or like rolls. 
but not all together. That's real weird. I've never actually seen what's hers. That's really cool. That's dope. I drink, I had drink water, I have water right here, right now. That's all I've been drinking. It's propel water. With packet stuff. That's actually kind of terrifying. I'm in stream. I'm gonna go eat. Before I go freaking insane. <laughs>